kind of keeps you motivated now as you are in these bigger jobs? Just the will to do more, really. Yeah. Like, it's weird. Like, you know that people always say you can never really chase success. Like, you can never really, like, be happy with whatever it is in which you kind of class the success because never it's never ending like you, you know you have a your vision constantly expands at one point you want to you know be in a web series and then you've done that and at that point you want to be in a tv show and then you've done that then you want to be in a film and then you want to be in a film which is global then you want to make your own films then you want it just keeps expanding and expanding so it's like the will and the, and the plea to want to do more and want to be able to create um is what you know keeps me motivated and wanting to help people really like help my family and, and help my friends and, and and essentially help yourself because once you can help yourself you can then help everyone else yeah. so um yeah I just I love creating and and you know I always say like if you weren't paid to do whatever it is you do now would you still do it if the answer is no then you really need to look at finding yeah you need to switch it up and if the answer is yes then you're living right. yeah just keep doing yeah yeah definitely so can you tell me so you do have um the world of comedy mm -hmm. here and it's actually becoming a bigger type of platform with more a more, more like dynamic to it yeah can you tell me about that yeah so the wall of comedy was birthed um just over two years ago now where myself and my co-stars business partners best friends percy and d we created Man on a Wall and after that we decided, look, we want to be in a space now where we can create more shows and Man on a Wall was a show as opposed to a channel. So in creating another show, we was like, we can't put this on the Man on a Wall show channel because it's not a platform. So we said, let's just create our own platform. And as a means of doing that, it also allows us to be able to help other creatives and do more with them and create more. So we said to ourselves, okay, cool, we're going to create a platform. You've got SBTV, you've got Link Up TV, you've got GRM Daily for music in the UK, and there was nothing for um, for uh, for comedy. And we had, you know, created ideas and gone into like, I don't know, uh, the BBC or Comedy Central or Channel Four, and wanted to get shows commissioned, and they just kind of weren't commissioning them. And so our attitude has always been, okay, if no one's going to do it for you, then do it yourself. Yeah, and so don't wait for doors to open to you. Great exactly, yourself. kick down the window. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? So we did just that, and we said, look, let's create this platform and let's try and help all of the creators in which are going to be in the same shoes that we're in and try and make something huge. And so... Um, and that's just in the UK as well, UK-based? Yeah, so we're based yeah. in the UK, but um, we actually have a higher reach in the US than we do in the UK. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. And, um, <laughs> they're loving us. Yeah. <laughs> like, maybe even the style of comedy in which we do, like, they're kind of really intrigued into it. And um, we uh, first started, we had 300,000 followers on our platform when we first started. And... Then we grew it to a million within around four or five months. And then now two, just over two years later, we're now on five million um, followers and we produce around 350 to 400 million views a month. And um, yeah, we're, we're now the most viewed online comedy platform in Europe. Amazing. And yeah. Oh, well done. Thank That's you. Really good. Um, so yeah, so you feel like you have more, you know, you've gained your Yeah, control. exactly. And even down to now being able to, you know, work with, of a talent like and like yeah. give back and do what everything in which we wish that we had when we were creating we was like oh imagine if if we can give everything in which we know and everything we, that we've learned to other creators in the space and which is why we then kind of opened up all of our subsidiaries so yeah. working with different talent we then opened the wall of talent which is our um our talent management company and then kind of looking at our second third and fourth love our second love was music so we launched the wall of music and mm -hmm. Now we're expanding completely to the wall of sport, the wall of inspiration, the wall of fitness, the wall of food, um, and essentially just kind of taking over a 360 it's element take where it all. Take over. literally, man, we just want to do as much as we can, help as many people as we can definitely. in different fields. It's, it's and a good cause, yeah, oh, that's so, good. Um, cool. so a lot of people, um, when they get into acting and they want to be successful, mm -hmm. they don't always choose the route of education to go in. They choose different routes, try different things out. Mm. And some people get lucky, maybe some not so much. Um, obviously, you went to Brit school, um, which people will sometimes are, can be surprised about. Um, when Where are you from, by the way? I'm from South East London. South East London. Yeah. So when you sometimes bring up going through the educational route, mm -hmm. some people, they'll be surprised 
you know, that maybe that you took that route. Yeah. But can you explain? Yeah, well, like, the because I have this whole thing, when you say educational route, because there's two kind of means, that's often used in terms of university. Yeah. And like the Brit school was a perfect opportunity for me to be able to learn more of my craft and also be around like-minded people. Yeah. So like even when we created Man on the Wall, a lot of our team were people from my school and, you know, people in different strands. Um, like the, um, the, our theme tune was created by one of my closest friends, Fidel, who was in the music strand. And, you know, Rico and Kyle, who were in media, would shoot with um, Freddie and Izzy. And yeah, that's the great thing about uni. And I found that you always have friend or friend of a friend who's in all the different like compartments exactly. that you need and you can bring to people together happen. and so like right now when I kind of people ask me like would you advise going to uni and like you kind of you know you trained and I'm like yeah I trained but I did mine in sixth form years so I was there from 16 to 18 okay. and at the time in which you're then meant to go to university from 18 to 21 I didn't want to go to university or I didn't want to go to drama school because I felt like within this industry ready. I was ready I just wanted to learn on the job Whereas maybe if I wanted to be a lawyer or a doctor, um, I would have gone to university and taken that traditional route. But within entertainment now, you know, it's experience. And even like when we're building this company and when we're hiring new staff, like I look at what people can do, not what they've learned, you know? Yeah, and so definitely. you weighing that up, it's like, yeah, if it works for you, then it works for you. If it doesn't, then by all means, just crack on. Yeah, definitely. You've got a lot of entrepreneurial spirit. <laughs> Thank you.